Keynote speakers this evening is the former minister Naledi Pando and she's going to give us a quick update as to what's happening at the moment on her side. Minister, thank you very much for your time and what's keeping you occupied nowadays? Well, assalamu alaikum to all the listeners of Radio Islam. Thank you for this opportunity. Uh, well, I'm uh, trying to keep busy uh, because I have uh, been a working person for more than four decades. And so uh, it's very unusual for me not to be busy. Uh, but alhamdulillah, I'm uh, receiving many, many invitations from all over the world. Uh, there's great interest in the plight of the people of Palestine and appreciation for the role that South Africa and South Africans broadly, particularly the Muslim Ummah in South Africa, have played in highlighting uh, the important uh, need to support the struggle for freedom and justice of the people of Palestine. So I'm continuing uh, that program of information and sharing uh, of thoughts about how we campaign uh, more effectively and support uh, this just cause for freedom. And then also my area of interest is always education. So I will be doing much more on international education. And the third area is uh, women's empowerment, which is something I believe in uh, very strongly. So alhamdulillah, uh, thus far, um, I think I'm going to be extremely busy. I'm speaking to other uh, retirees as well and learning from them, you know, how they keep busy. So I've had nice meetings uh, with people like Ibrahim Rasul. I've spoken to other former ministers, just uh, checking, you know, what are they doing? How do you keep uh, on stream? Because it's very important uh, that you don't just stop uh, being active. I think, um, you know, when you are a senior citizen, uh, you must keep the mind uh, working and, and active. Are you hopeful that the government under the new formation, the GNU, will continue to pursue the Palestinian cause? I believe that they will. Uh, inshallah, already President Ramaphosa has been very clear on that, uh, that the policy of South Africa with respect to the people of Palestine and all uh, people who face colonial oppression, uh, that this uh, policy has not changed and it will continue to be an important foreign policy position of the government of South Africa. Finally, Minister, you said four, year, four decades in the, in the field of politics and activism. What advice would you give to the younger leaders that are coming in today? Well, firstly, um, I would ask all of them to try to be knowledgeable. I think reading and being uh, informed about the areas or sectors you're interested in is extremely important because what we don't want uh, is populism, you know, just articulating an idea because it sounds popular. Uh, being informed is extremely important, being knowledgeable. And then I think given where politics is today, we need politicians who are honest, uh, who are committed to the task at hand, and who ensure that people are serviced. The worst thing you can do is take public money and use it for your interest. So we need people who will be totally committed to the people that uh, they agree uh, to serve. Mr. Thank you very much for your time, much appreciated. Thank you very much for the opportunity.